y'all come on and magnify the mess with me we're in the year of our lord 2019 and i just had to come on here today and give y'all the 20 messiest people of 2018 and of course it's going to be messy but y'all already know that's just the way Mm, mm. Child, I was on Instagram minding my business being nosy And I come across the fact that all these people were being messy So I says to myself, I said, self, you should put together a list for the Juice Crew And that's exactly what I did Number 20, the beauty gurus of YouTube Now y'all are probably confused as to why they're even on a messy list well, let me tell you, from Jeffree Star to Jackie Anna, Manny Mua to Laura Lee, Gabriel Zamora to James Charles, Patrick Star on down to even Tati, were very, very messy this year. These folks are making anywhere from 60k a month upwards to a million or more a year and still cause drama. What's the problem, child? Shoot, let me make anywhere near 60k a year and I'm walking around here with a crown on my head made from juice boxes. Okay. Mm mm, mm but they're out here being messy all over makeup child boom but anyway they accuse each other of being racist stealing money not sending out prizes being mean to fans slapping their names on whack palettes for a check lying for no reason and just downright being nasty to people allegedly now i love the mess more than any person on planet earth but i'm gonna need these folks to bring it down a notch so i can get back to messing up their makeup tutorials in peace okay mm moving on number 19 black china china we all know black china is just messy in general from having a baby from rob kardashian out of spite because his sister kylie jenner stole her baby daddy tiger and started dating him a couple of years ago to her being exposed by rob for sleeping with various men plus ti and tiny back in 2017 but we ain't gonna talk about that right now i got to focus on 2018 because y'all know i get soft track but anyway black china has been plenty of messy in 2018 like that time she started dating 18 year old rapper now it's still unclear if they were actually dating or if she was doing it for a check which is even more messier either way child we know how that relationship ended now if the messy relationship wasn't enough what about the time bc went to six flags and got into an altercation allegedly someone came up and touched little dreamy while the now unemployed nanny was holding her so black china went ballistic and started a whole altercation that got so bad she started swinging the baby stroller luckily dreamy wasn't in the stroller at the time but baby child who does that black china apparently mm -mm, child let me clutch some parenting classes and gather myself moving on number 18 young mba and his fourth baby mama Ooh, chile where do i even begin well let's skip the fact that he has body slammed her caught on camera and she took up for him by saying they were playing a game we can also skip the fact that he gets into an altercation at every venue he performs in let's even skip the fact that she had a black eye once and said the water from her noodles jumped out of the pot and gave it to her mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's skip all of the above and focus on the fact that NBA revealed in one of his songs that he had a case of the Willy Lump Lumps. And the bad part is that she had just found out she was pregnant, so she had to go ahead and admit to the world that she had it also. Child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Now, how you gonna do a song and tell all of my business while you telling yours? It's just a shame and a scandal, child. A shame and a scandal. Mm -mm. But anyway, baby child, after all that messiness, one good thing is that the baby mama has continued to go to school and work toward her diploma. She's been doing better on social media lately, as far as I know. And the judge has ordered that her and NBA stay away from each other. Now, I know that was hard for her at first, but by the way she's glowing, I'm pretty sure she has realized that was probably the best thing for her. Moving on number 17 child Lil bootsy cursed his child out now before i even get started on this one let me go ahead and say it child let me clutch my pearls and gather myself so some months back one of bootsy's children said something about him on social media so he got mad 
call her on the phone and curse her out like a dog, calling her all kinds of names and even threaten her. Well, the mama recorded a call and released it to social media. Now, y'all know I can't play it for y'all, but trust me when I say it was messy. But that ain't even the messiest part. To make matters even worse, the mama and Bootsy started beefing back and forth on social media and she exposed him for not really giving her any money for their child. Making all of his kids ride in the van for eight hours or more during the summer to come visit him. Basically, she exposed him for putting on for the ground but not really living the life he's claiming. So now, of course, Boosie got mad, called her, and cursed her out for dear life. And of course, she recorded that phone call also. And while he was mad and cursing her out, he revealed that he was the one that actually sent her brother back in the day before Lil Boosie even got famous to the upper room. Now, I can't show y'all that video either, but trust me, it was beyond messy to the point of disturbing. Child, he said something along the lines of, you keep on playing with me, and I'ma put you in the dirt, just like I put your brother in the dirt. Mm-mm. Child, let me clutch some holy water, a cross, and some sage, and gather myself. Mm-mm, I don't play like that. Moving on. Number 16, Tiara Marie. Lord have mercy, Jesus, Tiara Marie. What can I say about Tiara Marie? A lot, child a lot but for now let's just talk about the fact that she dropped her own special tape on her own instagram and gonna have the nerve to say she was hacked child bah anyways that ain't the worst part for one she made the special tape with akbar who is currently married has a girlfriend and was messing with tiara all at the same time Mm-mm, child let me clutch my obgyn and gather myself Anyways, baby child, now if exposing your own special tape with a married man wasn't bad enough, Tiara made everything even worse when 50 Cent shared a picture of the post like everyone else at the time was doing. So Tiara, with Devil Scott Young in her ear, decides that she will hire a lawyer and sue, get this, 50 Cent, for making a post about her self-exposed special tape. This child held a press conference and everything. Now she knows she needs her patootie whooped. You're the one that exposed your own self, but you want to sue 50 cent and y'all already know how that turned out for her she's still broke and she's still on the bottom pay tier of loving hip-hop just to think child tiara marie was the actual front runner for jay-z's label back in the day she was even ahead of rihanna Mm-mm, child just a shame and a scandal a shame and a scandal moving on number 15 rick ross and his baby mama tia child i'm gonna try to make this one short and sweet rick ross call your son moving on number 14 tristan thompson child it ain't not now secret that tristan is a cheater but chloe kardashian would like for y'all to think differently now word on the screen is that tristan and chloe met at kevin hart's wedding about two years back while his first baby mama was visibly pregnant side note tristan's baby mama jordy and kevin hart's wife is are cousins okay so chloe and tristan have been dating ever since so baby child I'll skip ahead to Chloe, nearly about to give birth, and who is caught out and about with 50 limb different women of the night? None other than Tristan, third trimester Thompson. Child, this man was not only flirting, but kissing, cuddling, and canoodling these other women that clearly were not pregnant Chloe. Now, if that wasn't messy enough, after he was caught, blasted all over the world, and taken back by Chloe, he turns around and does it all again. Mmm, mmm. Child, now I'm going to have to leave this one alone because y'all know I'm Southern and y'all know how we feel about doing people dirty and expecting to get away with it. And I ain't trying to get my page shut down, so let me just be quiet. Moving on. Number 13, Hazel E, child. Hazel E tries to be messy toward other people, but some kind of way, the mess always turns back on her. She tried to come for dark-skinned women, and that backfired on her. She tried to come for the gays, and that backfired on her. She even tried to come for Masika and her daughter plenty of times, and that backfired on her and her wig. On top of that, she's been in Dubai for over a year now, and I am almost certain that it's backfiring on her every day. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Moving on. Number 12, Future and his 5012 baby mamas. Child, Future has so many children, I've been lost count, but 
I've been keeping up with the mess also. As y'all know, Future has a kid with Sierra, and he also has a kid from Joy, who is also Bow Wow's baby mama who dated Sierra back in the day. Child, but that ain't even the messy part. Future got Joy pregnant at the same time he was supposed to be working on his relationship with his OG baby mama, Brittany. Now, Britt is not the first baby mama, but she's considered the OG because she always takes him back. Mm-mm, but child, I think she gave up on him this time, especially after he went to joy's baby shower and they were hugged up all in the pictures that dropped the next day child but anyway future then got mad at britney for leaving him lord have mercy he actually posted in his ig story you gonna cry in the nissan or the phantom and child i guess britney decided to cry in the nissan and guess what that's the Another IG model is claiming that she is also pregnant from Future and that he has and is still threatening her life. Now at this moment, her story hasn't been proven true or false, but until it does, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the messiness. Moving on. Number 11, Fetty Whopping His Baby Mama Brigade. Child, Fetty has a whole baby mama brigade and it actually includes Masika, Alexis Sky, and Lize, to name a few. These folks have fell out so many times. I can't even count. Things have gotten so messy between all of them that Fit is now known more for his baby mamas than his actual music. Lize got pregnant from him a second time, not knowing that Alexis was also pregnant. Now, Alexis and Lize have been into it big time in the past. It got so bad that Liz drove all the way to Atlanta from New Jersey once just to fight Alexis. But Alexis had already left to go to LA to get pregnant and terrorize Masika in order to get on Love and Hip Hop. And child, it worked. This caused a lot of drama with Masika. Her and Alexis went back and forth on social media plenty of times. And Alexis even went so far as to call Fetty's kids ugly and bees while she was pregnant. After that, Masika tried to get Alexis kicked off the show, but it didn't work. So she left and joined Growing Up Hip Hop, if y'all are wondering how that happened. Even through all that messiness, and Fetty Wap just sits back and says nothing. But to be honest, it looks like they don't listen to him anyway. So guess what? Moving on. Number 10, Reality TV Crew. Now I'ma just throw all these jokers in one pot and point out how messy they all are and how much they lie for a storyline, have cheering for a storyline, fight for a storyline, and actually break up real relationships for a storyline. Now, Eva Scott Young and Dandy Cohan are behind 98% of reality TV drama as we know it, and I'm all here for it. All I ask is, if you're going to let these producers play your face for a coin, make sure it's a cute coin. Okay, moving on. Number nine, Lyra Galore and P from QC. Now, y'all might remember Lyra Galore from Almost Marrying Rick Ross a while back. That is, until Rick Ross found out that she had also slept with his homeboy, Meek Mill, in the past. Okay, child, but now she is engaged to the Migos manager, P. P recently posted a video of Lyra at the doctor getting an ultrasound. All cool, right? wrong child really wrong just wrong because he was being messy and i do mean od messy and i'm gonna tell y'all why lyra had just broken up with him because every time he gets mad at lyra he comes back and repossesses the cars and jewelry he just gave to her days before and child i guess she got tired of him so to get her back for leaving him again he exposed the fact that she was pregnant before she even got the chance to tell everybody on her own time mm -mm. but child what's even worse than that is when he posted the pregnancy video to his page she actually denied the fact that she was even pregnant so child i was sitting up here trying to figure out if she lost the baby or she sent it up to the upper room but fortunately it turns out she kept the baby and everything seems fine or does it child now if that wasn't messy enough the reason she may have been hiding the pregnancy all along was because of someone she was close to about a year ago is also pregnant from p what makes it even messier is that girl is farther along than lyra is so apparently she was chilling with him before lyra was mm -mm, child let me clutch my real friends and gather myself but child don't y'all worry about lyra because it did seem to bother her at all now now a little bit because she said what well, her friend and her baby daddy got going on ain't got nothing to do with her she said it was her friend's problem that she decided to keep her baby and not hers mm -mm, messy 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 but y'all already know that's just the way
Moving on. Number eight, Erica Mena and Safari. Shall we all know Erica and we all know Safari and most of us know that they're engaged to be married. But did y'all know that their union is messy in and of itself? No. But child, let me break it down to you. Let me start with the fact that Erica hates Nicki Minaj. Let's also talk about the fact that Safari and DJ Envy are pretty good friends. But some people don't know that Erica was DJ Envy's side chick for a hot little minute. What makes things even more messier is that Safari is also close to Joe Button, who we all know is now engaged to Sin, who also dated Erica Mena on Love and Hip Hop. Cha, 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 cha. Now, word on the screen is that Erica is pregnant, so we're just gonna say allegedly. But if Erica is pregnant, and some people are speculating that's the reason that they got engaged and he bought a house out of the blue. Some people are pointing out that she allegedly looks to be about three to four months pregnant, which would put Erica not with Safari at the time, but with her old boyfriend. Y'all know the one that she went to jail with back in October. So some people, not me, are saying that Safari is just being the stand-up guy he's known to be. Now on the other side of it, some blogs are reporting that these two are doing this for a check upwards of 300k. Child, now y'all know Mona has her knuckles all over that deal, but if if it is true, get it how you live it, child. Get it how y'all live it. Moving on. Number seven, fabulous Emily B, her daughter, her daughter's boyfriend, rapper G Herbo, and his baby mama Ari. Child, this one is missing, 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 missing. All right, now, let's start with the fact that not only was Fab caught on tape threatening Emily and her daddy, in the year of our Lord 2018, it was also leaked that Fab allegedly knocked Emily B's two front teeth out. Now, child, y'all already know we'll never get an amen from either of them on that particular situation, but there was a police report floating around that corroborated that rumor, so I'm gonna be messy. But anyway, let's jump to a couple of weeks ago when Emily B's daughter, boyfriend, baby mama, went off on all of them. Child, she called Emily's daughter a bird behind B and said that G Herbo was forced himself to like her she then also went off and said that g herbo was actually cheating with emily b's daughter while they were still together and she even went on to say that emily and her daughter lied to her baby daddy about something she said she did not say allegedly of course m did not like that and let her know via instagram basically saying child my daughter ain't stunting about you and she left it at that now y'all know emily b don't talk like that that's just me paraphrasing what i think she said but anyway mm -mm, child it's all a shame and a scandal a shame and a scandal well after all that ari who was popular on instagram was seen hanging out with the rapper young ma yeah that's right the rapper young ma and g herbo who was basically denying emily's daughter finally went on ahead and officially claimed her on instagram now this was after he sent ari some flowers trying to get back with her but it didn't work but y'all know a man's my business so moving on number six tommy let me just start off by saying child let me clutch my parenting classes and gather myself mm -mm. A couple of months back, Tommy got into an altercation with her daughter at her school. Word on the screen is that Tommy allegedly went out to the daughter's school and ended up slamming her head into a locker for whatever reason. Now y'all know Tommy stays in trouble and plus the courts don't play about you hurting kids not even your own so they locked her up immediately the messiest part of course about all of this is that they actually ended up releasing tommy and told her to stay away from her children but tommy being tommy the first thing she did when she got home was call her daughter and violated and got thrown right back into the slammer china i guess it wasn't enough for her to slam her daughter's head into a locker she had to be hard-headed and go against court orders to end up back in jail but a good outcome for this messy situation is that tommy was released about two weeks ago and hopefully she won't be slamming now one of her children heads into any lockers anytime soon moving on number five wendy williams child this one is gonna be real short and real sweet now y'all know wendy williams is no stranger to being messy but sometimes she can go a little bit too far and runs out take for example the time that she had nick cannon on her show and they were doing an interview she actually referred to this man's last baby as an oops baby an oops baby y'all but y'all now while she's being messy with nick cannon about his churn comes to find out 
word on the street allegedly is the fact that her husband kevin is cheating on her which we already knew that but comes to find out like i said that the side chick is allegedly pregnant so while she's throwing shade and being messy at nick cannon for having an oots baby wendy might end up being the stepmama to an oots baby herself for 2019 now if that ain't messy i don't know what it is moving on number four pusha t and drake drake and pusha t now these jokers had a rap beef drake talked about pusha's fiance so pusha turned around and exposed the fact that drake has a whole human baby that he was keeping a secret from the world now if that ain't messy i don't know what is drake tried to hide a whole baby a whole human baby and expected nobody to say anything about that child you must have forgot pusha t is messy and always has been that ain't no meek meal you beefing with now moving on number three cardi b and Nicki minaj Mm -mm. it's so many different situations of them both being messy that i'm just going to focus on one of course the shoe and the knot incident now a lot of stuff was going on with these two for about a year a lot of fans fighting a lot of behind the scenes stuff and a lot of downright messy necessities well child all of that came to a head when these two were at fashion week together at a harper's bazaar icon party like i said tensions were rising between these two when i guess cardi had enough and threw a shoe at nikki during the party there was some pushing and some screaming and cardi ended up with a knot on her head when she left that night all also revealed during the altercation that she was angry because Nikki allegedly liked the tweet about Cardi being a bad mama. Side note, let me say this, I'm always on social media minding my business being nosy and I never came across a tweet like that. But anyways, to Cardi it was a big deal and her starting the altercation put both of their careers in jeopardy, cutting up, run all them rich folks. Child. Both of them have been pretty quiet lately about each other, so hopefully it will stay that way in 2019. Moving on. Number two, Cardi's publicist, Patience. And y'all are probably wondering why. And for her to be number two on my list, that means she has to be real messy. And she definitely is. And y'all already know, that's just the way okay so for one in 2018 she was the one that told cardi to hide her pregnancy allegedly for two she got mad at someone at cardi's label for not paying her enough money and started going off on him on social media unprofessional for number three she also admitted on ig live that she met cardi while she was an usher at an event and that's how she became cardi's publicist Yes, y'all heard me right. She was a person that showed people to their seats at events, and that's how she met Cardi and became her publicist. Now, ain't nothing wrong with that, but I don't think I would have told anybody about that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, for four, she was trying her best to get into the middle of the altercation with Cardi and Nikki instead of trying to break it up. Child, she was the one that was hopping around in a white dress, if y'all remember. For five, she was the one that let Offset on stage without Cardi knowing at that festival so he can apologize for cheating. For six, she threatened to beat up a little old lady at the airport in Australia. Messy, 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 messy. Now, child, on one hand, I want patience to be more professional. But on the other hand, the messiness seems to be working for her and Cardi's career. So guess what? I guess I'ma just let her be messy moving on number one takashi 69 cha 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 if this ain't the messiest joker on the planet i eat you in 2018 this man had beef with everybody from the game to chief keith with a thousand people in between but me as a mama i'm gonna have to say his messiest moment is when he left his baby mama and started dating one of the sisters that cardi allegedly had an altercation with at the strip club you know the same ones that nikki hired to be in her good form video after they started suing cardi yes them the same ones well anyway he left his baby mama for one of the sisters right before he went up the road so now ever since he's been behind bars he's been sending a new girlfriend jewelry and all types of gifts get this he even bought her a range rover for christmas while locked up a range rover child but guess what he bought his actual blood daughter for christmas 
Nathan, not now thing, didn't buy his little girl nothing. And the baby mama also claims he hasn't called the baby now time since he's been in there. Now y'all know I love the mess, but all mess ain't good mess. And this is one of those examples. How you buy your girlfriend of two weeks all these extravagant gifts for Christmas, but don't buy your little girl nothing, allegedly. And that's why he's number one on my top 20 messiest people of 2018 list. It's all a shame and a scandal, child. A shame and a scandal mm -mm, which I y'all know minds my business and I'm gonna do just that I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about all these situations down in the comment how do y'all feel about this list now did y'all agree or disagree who would y'all have put for number one and why now baby child I could have been a lot messier with this list but it's 2019 and I ain't about to get my page shut down y'all know what I'm saying y'all know what I'm saying moving on